Thinking Sex, by Gail Rubin is a groundbreaking essay that explores the social construction of sexuality and the ways in which societal norms regulate and stigmatize certain sexual practices. Rubin introduces the concept of the charmed circle to describe the hierarchy of sexual acts, where some are deemed acceptable and others are marginalized or criminalized. The essay begins by addressing the feminist sex wars of the 1980s. Where debates around sexuality, pornography, and sex work divided feminist communities. Rubin argues for a more nuanced and inclusive approach to understanding and accepting diverse sexual practices. She advocates for the decriminalization of sex work and challenges the stigmatization of non normative sexual behaviors. Rubin also introduces the idea of the sex hierarchy. Which categorizes sexual acts based on their perceived social acceptability. Activities within the charmed circle are seen as normal and acceptable, while those outside of it, in the outer limits, face social condemnation. She criticizes the policing of sexual boundaries and argues for sexual liberation and the right to explore diverse sexual expressions without fear of persecution. Furthermore, Rubin discusses the concept of sex panics, where societies react with moral panic to perceived threats to traditional sexual norms. She examines historical instances of sex panics, such as the witch hunts and the persecution of homosexuals, to illustrate the recurring pattern of societal anxiety around non normative sexuality. The essay delves into the regulation of sexuality through legal, medical, and religious institutions. Rubin critiques the pathologization of certain sexual practices and challenges the notion of a universal and fixed sexual normativity. She emphasizes the importance of recognizing cultural relativism and understanding that what may be deemed deviant in one society could be accepted in another. Thinking Sex, by Gail Rubin, is a seminal work that challenges societal norms surrounding sexuality. It advocates for the acceptance and celebration of diverse sexual practices, the decriminalization of sex work, and a more inclusive and open minded approach to understanding human sexuality. Rubin's work continues to be influential in feminist and queer studies, sparking important conversations about the intersectionality of power, identity, and sexuality. Key points Charmed Circle and Sex Hierarchy. Rubin introduces the concept of the charmed circle, which represents the socially accepted and normative sexual practices. The sex hierarchy categorizes sexual acts based on their perceived social acceptability, with some acts being considered more normal than others. Sex wars. The essay addresses the feminist sex wars of the 1980s. Where debates among feminists centered on issues such as pornography, sex work, and sexual freedom. Rubin advocates for a more inclusive and understanding approach to diverse sexual practices, challenging the divisions within feminist communities. Sexual liberation. Rubin argues for sexual liberation, emphasizing the right of individuals to explore diverse sexual expressions without facing societal condemnation or legal repercussions. She critiques the policing of sexual boundaries and advocates for the acceptance of a variety of sexual behaviors. Sex panics. Rubin discusses the concept of sex panics, where societies react with moral panic to perceived threats to traditional sexual norms. Historical examples, such as witch hunts and the persecution of homosexuals, Are used to illustrate the recurring pattern of societal anxiety around non normative sexuality. Regulation of sexuality. Rubin examines how sexuality is regulated through legal, medical, and religious institutions. She critiques the pathologization of certain sexual practices and challenges the notion of a universal and fixed sexual normativity. Cultural relativism. Rubin emphasizes the importance of cultural relativism in understanding and respecting diverse sexual practices. What may be considered deviant in one society could be accepted in another, and she encourages a more open minded and non judgmental perspective. Decriminalization of sex work. Rubin advocates for the decriminalization of sex work, 
challenging societal stigma and legal restrictions imposed on individuals engaged in sex work. Intersectionality. The essay explores the intersectionality of power, identity, and sexuality, highlighting how various forms of oppression intersect in shaping societal attitudes toward different sexual practices.